Hi, my name is Elisha and in this video I thought that I would share 20 self-portrait ideas for awkward people. I'm the kind of person who, if people start taking pictures of me, will just get very awkward and start doing weird faces and double chins and stuff like that or just run away because I fucking hate it. And now I spend most of my time taking self-portraits. So kind of ironic, but yeah, I have learned to feel more comfortable in front of the camera, but I still have those days where I just feel awkward as fuck and I hate my face and I just don't want to be in front of the camera, but I still want to make art. So if you also feel that way sometimes, I'm now going to share 20 tricks slash ideas that will hide your face a little bit and also just make it a lot easier to be in front of the camera on those days. And no, I'm not going to show you how you can look sexy and confident like Beyonce or someone in that league. These are just simple, fun, easy to go to tips that will just make you create art even though you're feeling awkward. So let's just start with the first tip. The first idea is to sit down on the chair and then just stack something on top of your legs and the pile has to be high enough so that it will cover your whole upper body and your face as well. And you can do this with literally anything, I'm doing it with a plant right now. A few weeks ago I did it with some moving boxes because I was moving and I couldn't really think of anything else but just get creative with this one and it just looks cool I think. Face away from the camera. This gives the photo a pretty interesting feel because the audience is seeing what you're seeing so you can kind of show your perspective in a way and then if you're standing in front of a big beautiful landscape or just something interesting that you want to show off, I think it just looks pretty cool. This one is really disgusting but recently I've actually really enjoyed photographing my feet sounds so disgusting. <laughs> I promise I don't have any big fetish or anything like that. I just really think it looks cool. It sounds so freaking disgusting. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I think feet are disgusting and I hate touching other people's feet. I think it's horrible. I hate it. Let's just get that very clear. But for some reason I also think that they are very aesthetic in photos. You can put them in so many cool situations and then you don't have to worry about your face. Lie down on the grass hiding your face. You can do this with grass or flowers or anything like that, just like I'm doing in this photo and it just looks pretty cool and aesthetic, I think. <laughs> and a little bonus, you can also show off a cool landscape or a cool outfit with this one. Another way of actually being in front of the camera but without being able to see your actual face is to move very far away from the camera so that you just become teeny tiny in a big landscape for example. Of course it would be awesome to do this in a big beautiful space if you're just shooting at home for example. This one wouldn't really work unless you're doing a crazy composite and photoshop and yeah, a lot. <laughs> over your head. Maybe you like a pumpkin. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. A couple of months ago I took this self-portrait right here where I first basically just took a portrait of my body doing nothing special at all and then later in Photoshop I edited in a lot of smoke and I just think it looked pretty cool and it's a subtle and effective way of hiding your face. But yeah, it is a little bit more advanced, but maybe you can interpret this in another way and do something that you can do in camera or just maybe find a smoke bomb and just hold it in front of your body. That could be kind of fun to do as well. It's all about getting creative. Another way of hiding your face that most of us do on a regular basis by now is to wear a face mask some sort of a face mask. It's just such a fun idea because you can create a face mask out of literally anything. I did it with paint and with plants, but you can really get creative with this one and then it's just also very relevant to these times with the COVID virus and all that jazz. It's just fun to create art about stuff that is actually going on in the world right now. And then it also hides your face 
quite well. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind is that you can either go the very melancholic way and make it a bad thing, but you can also make it a beautiful thing. So it's up to you. Put something fun and interesting in front of your face, like this balloon. This might sound intimidating and Maybe it is, I'm actually not really sure, but I'm just going to throw it in here anyways because when you zoom very close in on just one eye and you can just see this part of your face, you can't see the rest of the face, it's not that obvious that it's you. And you also don't have to worry much about the posing because there is only so much that you can do with an eye. You can like have an open eye or have a closed eye or look in different directions and that's really it so you don't really have to worry too much about looking good. I think this one looks the best if you just look into the camera because otherwise you can't see that much of the eye. <laughs> Let me just contradict myself. One of the most intimidating things about being photographed is looking into the camera and posing at the same time. It's just very intimidating. But you don't have to look into the camera, you can just look the other way and act like the camera isn't even there. And then you can just maybe play with a prop or something like that and just act like the camera isn't there. Take it a step further and close your eyes all together. You don't often see people with closed eyes in photos, so this could be a fun little pose to experiment with and play with to get some interesting and kind of outstanding results and just unique results, I think is the word that I'm looking for. Next idea. <laughs> so many photos on Pinterest and Instagram of people holding mirrors in front of their bodies and it just looks cool and magical in a way because it looks like they have a hole in their body but it's obvious that it's a mirror and I don't know it just looks cool <laughs> I haven't tried this one yet but I'm definitely going to in one of my future concepts so maybe you should do that too and if you don't feel like having your face in the photo you can of course just hold the mirror up in front of your face Take lots of flowers to your face. The more flowers, the more your face will be hit. This is also an idea that I've seen a lot on Pinterest and Instagram and it's also something that I have tried myself and it is to place a glass between you and the camera and then your face makes some weird shapes and your eyes just suddenly look completely out of place. This one you also don't have to worry a lot about how you look because your face will look weird no matter what. <laughs> if you're a little bit more daring but still don't want the regular self-portrait, you can take a regular self-portrait and then bring it over to Photoshop and kind of just like destroy your face and make weird shapes and kind of make it look like a scrapbook. It's something that I'm going to try right now. So if I've already created it, I'm going to let you <laughs> see the photo right here. But I just thought that it would be kind of like a fun way to make your face look weird and not so much like yourself if you're feeling awkward um, in a fun way. That is a little bit more daring than the other ideas. Sometimes the thing that makes a photo shoot awkward for me at least is the fact that I have to show myself from my best side and that can just be exhausting and then I end up making weird faces because then it at least doesn't look like I'm trying to look good, if that makes sense. If this is a problem that you have as well, just try dressing up like someone else. I know it sounds so weird, but trust me, it helps because then you can just kind of act like you're another person and you don't have to worry too much about presenting yourself, if that makes sense. For example, for this shoot, I put on a wig and everything and I didn't even feel like myself when I was shooting these photos. So it also allowed me to step a lot more out of my comfort zone when it came to posing. Make someone or something else the star of the photo. You can take this photo as an example that I shot with my new plant that I just got. Showing something else or presenting something else in a photo will just remove the focus from you because the viewer has to focus and put all their attention to the thing that you're trying to show them. 
this one is pretty similar as the idea where we would dress up as someone else but it kind of just hides your face a little bit more you can kind of hide behind the paint and it takes away the focus from your face to the paint <laughs> If you're hanging upside down in a photo, the focus will kind of be removed from the fact that it's you. It's all about distracting. Ugh! That was 20 ideas. Now, if you are interested in self-portrait photography or just creative photography in general, I would encourage you to stay just a few seconds longer because I have something to share with you that might help you out a lot. Because I have a creative photography course for beginners available to enroll in right now that will take you through literally everything that you need to know to take awesome creative photographs just like all of those photographs you've seen throughout this video. I'm so freaking proud of it and I really believe that it will make your photography journey and your creative journey just a lot faster and it will make you create amazing art a lot faster. And make you share your voice with the world a lot faster which is what it's all about so if you're interested you can find a lot more information in the description box below and i'm not going to talk about it and also if you have any other photo ideas for awkward people just leave them in the comments below i think it could be fun to just gather a whole bunch of ideas that people can go and pick from if they need more ideas. Now, if you're going to use any of these ideas and take some self-portraits, I would really love to see them. So you can either tag me in them over on Instagram or send me a DM or just anything. And it would just make me very happy. And maybe I would like to share them as well. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit down below and just give the video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe as well and hit the little bell button to never miss my future videos. I think that was it. Until next time, bye.